Hello, I'm Steve, this is a bit of munch, and this time I'm going to be having a bit of a munch on a bit of chocolate. Gillion tablets. Some people say Gillion, some people say Gillian, but I say words how I like to say them. Right, now, as, as I've no doubt a lot of you are aware, Gillion uh, chocolate seashells have been around for years. And they're really nice, but they're pretty expensive. These I picked up in, of all places, my local Little Morrisons, which I hardly ever go in. I go in the Big Morrisons a lot, as you probably know. But Little Morrisons is about the same distance as the Big Morrisons, but in the other direction. And it's more expensive. So I just really don't go there much. I was up that way, so I thought I'd pop in, see what they had. And I couldn't believe the price of these. I couldn't believe it. I saw them on the shelf first and I thought, cool, I bet they're expensive. What? 99 pence each. 99 pence! <sighs> so, we've got creamy milk chocolate and salted caramel chocolate. Now, I'm not the biggest fan of salted caramel. Um... If it's too salty, then I just don't like it. I love caramel itself, but salted caramel, mm, a bit funny weird sometimes. But I thought for 99p, it's got to be worth a go, hasn't it? For two bars of Belgian chocolate. Well, I say two bars, because that's what it looks like, doesn't it? Yeah? And that's what I thought, till I got home and I read the pack, and it says, four times 25 gram single wrapped tablets. So there's actually four little bars in there, which is quite a novel idea, I think. Uh, right, what can I tell you about? I'm not a lot, really. I'm not going to read you all the ingredients, because it's just usual chocolate ingredients. So we've got Belgian milk chocolate, and Belgian milk chocolate with salted caramel pieces. Uh, made in Belgium. By Chocolaterie Guillon. We oui. Right, I'm going to try the creamy milk first. Let's have a look. Oh, oh. Oh. <laughs> ah. Come on. For, oh, does it open up like that? Look, they've got a nice design inside as well. I like that. Oh, there's some writing under here as well. Look, writing. Is it, uh, is it bump? Uh, this is going on about, oh, actually, no, this is, this is good. All Gillian chocolates are palm and soy free to further reduce our environmental footprint. And we only use 100% ingredients of natural origin. It tells you about fair trade as well. Yeah. Okay. Gillion bargain chocolate. So one of these was like 25p. Belgian chocolate. I've not even had those chocolate seashells for years. I always used to love them. The great thing is, I've managed to open all this without resorting to my scissors, which I've actually got here. <laughs> right, there it is. So you've got two little tiny squares, and a medium-sized square, and a big square. Right. It's got a... It's quite a dark milk chocolate. I don't know if that will come out on camera, but it's quite a dark milk chocolate. It's got a hint of sort of dark chocolate smell about it. Mm. 
You can tell that's a quality chocolate. You really can. Oh yes. It's creamy, but it's got it has got a little bit well more than a little bit of a sort of bitterness, sort of dark chocolate bitterness about it. But it's not dark chocolate. As you know, because it's milk chocolate. Was it does it say milk chocolate? Creamy milk, yeah. Very good. I've had a look on the dates on these because I thought perhaps Morrison's have bought up a load of um, uh, nearly out of date chocolate, you know, and they were just flogging it off at a cheap price. But it's not. It's not. Um, it's September 25, so it's got a good date on it. Whether you can get these in the large Morrison's, I just I don't know. But very nice. Right, it's cleanse the old palate with a bit of good old Pepsi Max. And we'll try the salty caramel. Let's hope it's not too salty. Ta da! Actually, I better not get these mixed up. Because, right, hold that in that hand, that in that hand. Because the wrapper is exactly the same. <laughs> exactly the same colour. Right, that's that one. I'm going to go back in that one. And that's salty caramel. Okay. Again, same design. Two small squares, medium and a large. Oh, it's got a picture. Did the other one have that? I've eaten that one. <laughs> on the end one, it says, it says Guillaume on that one. Can you see that? Then on this one, there's a picture of a little um, seahorse, seashell? A seashell, like the seashells, that the chocolate seashells they make. Just a hint of caramel about that smell. Oh, that's the better one. That is the better one. It's got little crunchy bits of the um, salty caramel in. And that caramel taste makes it sweeter, um, not as bitter as the milk chocolate one. When I say not as bitter, the milk chocolate isn't amazingly horribly bitter, but it's got a sort of bitter aftertaste. This has got a little bit of that, but nowhere near as much. And you've got that, not a strong caramel taste, um, but you've got the caramel taste there. And to be honest, I wouldn't know this, that's salty caramel. Mm -hmm. That's a chocolate to savour. It really is. Right, let's, des I'm determined not to mix these up. Right, that in that hand, that in that hand. So, <laughs> that was upside down. Right, Guillaume, creamy milk and salty caramel. <clears throat> if you see these for 99p, get yourself some. And I recommend that one. If you see both of them, you can only afford one bar perhaps. Get that one. That's the better one in my opinion. Of course, now I've unwrapped them both. I'm going to have to finish both of those little bars off, aren't I? But I'll put these um, these individual bars back in their little wrapper, which has got a little... I think that reseals. Look, it's got a little bit on it to tuck in. Yeah. Oh, 
course of anyway. Yeah, there we go. And that reseals it. Brilliant idea. <coughs> Absolute bargain. Yeah, if you see it, buy it for 99p. Thanks for watching. Let me know if you've seen these anywhere. Let, you know, let me know if you've even heard of them, because I've never heard of them until today. Yeah, thanks for watching. See you in the next video.